This is a getting started guide to the Modius Brushless Servo Beta Development Kit. The Modius Brushless Servo Controller is designed to turn hobby brushless motors into high performance robotic servo actuators. It can produce high torque, high acceleration, and high speed, all while being compact and low mass. Daisy chainable power and data connectors allow modular actuators to be built, which enable more complex robotic systems. In this video, I'll show how to get started with the development kit, right after taking everything out of the box. Let's get started. The pieces of the development kit are the wall power supply, the Modius brushless servo controller itself, attached to the desk stand with a motor, the FDKN USB adapter, and an STM32 programmer. To begin with, we want to power the controller up and connect it to the FDKN USB. I recommend connecting the power to the controller before plugging the supply into the wall. So plug that in and also plug the FD CAN in. For both of these, either connector works fine. Then we will connect the FD CAN USB to an available USB port. And finally, plug the power supply into the wall. Now the unit is powered up. At this point, we'll go to the computer and get things set up there. On the software side, we first need to clone the Modius repository from GitHub onto an Ubuntu 18.04 or newer system. We'll copy that link, paste it into a terminal, and get started cloning. Once it is cloned, we can build the host side software using Bazel. That will allow us to run the host side diagnostic tools. We'll do that using tools bazel test slash slash colon host. While that is building, we can set up the FDCAN USB device. To do that, we'll look at the getting started guide from the documentation, which has a link to the FDCAN USB UDEV rule right here which when installed will symlink the FDCAN USB TTY device to dev FDCAN USB. So let's get the raw version of that file, save it to disk at some temporary location, and then we'll move it into place. Once it is moved into a place, we can follow its instructions to reload the UDEV rules. Right here is the command. Perfect. Now if we look at slash dev, there should be an FDCAN USB device, which there is. Once the host software is finished compiling, we can run the TView diagnostic utility to inspect the state of the servo actuator controller, command it, and modify the configuration. To run that, we'll use the instructions from the getting started guide. So we will find this and paste it into the terminal. And there it starts up. A brief overview, the left hand pane has two tabs. The right tab shows live telemetry from the device. The left tab shows configurable parameters that can be adjusted. The bottom pane shows a command line interface, and the right pane has a live plot. Now that we've got the software running, we are ready to make our first movement. Before doing so, I will note that the configuration of the dev kit as shipped from MJBots has position limits of minus one to plus one revolution. That means while in position control, the servo will never move outside that range. We'll rely on that shortly when we command a velocity and rely on the servo to stop at that endpoint. To make that movement, we can send a position control command using the diagnostic protocol. I'll use D for diagnostic and POS for position control. Then a NAND to indicate we can start from whatever position the servo is at now. Then an 0.2 to move at positive 0.2 revolutions per second with a maximum torque of 0.3 newton meters. Pressing enter will start that command and start the motor moving. While that is moving, I'll plot the position on the live plot so we can see it move. Now that it's done, I'll use the up arrow to get back to the previous sent command and edit it to move at a negative speed. 
This will cause the motor to move back to the other soft end stop. Finally, we can stop power being applied to the motor by sending the diagnostic stop command. This disables the servo drive and stops all power from being applied. Although the diagnostic telemetry is still updated. So you can see the position updates as the motor moves. That's it for this Modius Controller Beta Development Kit introduction video. You should definitely read the Getting Started Guide and the reference documentation, both linked from the top level README. Also, join the MJBOTS Discord, linked in the description below, to join the discussion. I hope your motion control is productive, and thank you.